All right, this one feels totally out of left field to me, but maybe it's not. I don't know, because I got, I got to say, up until about 15 minutes ago, I thought Sinead O'Connor sang, Come to my window. It's, it's Melissa. It's Melissa Etheridge. Anyways, our guy, our man, Scott Layton, supporter of the cause, uh, wants to do Mandinka by Sinead O'Connor. Now, this is going to be a totally flying by the seat of my pants video because I have not even listened to the song yet and Scott sent me a document with his guess on how the song goes and I was thinking what how can I like sort of tie this together with something that we do and I thought what I would do is compare his thoughts um on what it is with what I figure out what it is to be and you know maybe maybe Scott you're 100% correct <laughs> there's nothing to say or maybe this will be a great opportunity for me to show you like some common ear ball pitfalls and so on and so forth so I'm gonna put Scott's document on my website ryanlent.com show notes and of course it's in nonsense code so opposite of man lady and opposite of dinka gaga so you're looking for show notes lady gaga is where you will find Scott's file on this song that I've never heard before until next <laughs> Here we go. All right, so part one, the intro and the verse. Scott, you got all of the chords right. The only tiny little uh, edit I'd make is that for, uh, rather than low E for the, he uses the high E, so you get the motion when you go from E to B, right? And he uses that B, so you go up high going down before the rest of it happens, rather than down low going up. So rather than E, B, it's B, so root 5 major, 7, 9, 9, 9, root 6 major, 7, 9, 9, 8, G sharp minor, 4, 6, 6, and then A major, they're the same shape as B, but starting on the 5th fret, so, is the position they're in when they do it. And then when they add in those A, Bs, which you got this right, um, I just want to mention it, for whatever reason in the universe, they're on A, and they're going up to B, but uh, he uses this A. He goes one hit on the A, and then a quick little muted strum on just the A bass note before going to B. So, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da. much I didn't know about this song. I had the acoustic guitar ready. <laughs> okay, next part. Great job, Scott. Nine out of ten points there. First portion of the pre-chorus, Scott, you had C bar chord, which that's correct, so three, five, 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 everybody, but if you don't want to play the bar chord, play regular C for Pete's sake, it doesn't matter, but since I know, Scott, you want to play this as accurately as possible. C bar chord, D bar chord, same shape, two frets up, just like you have. And then you didn't put the E. I, I think you know this, but you just forgot to put it. It's an E chord. You can play it wherever you want, but the guy in the live video was playing E a way I've never played before. Follow my logic. D, right? D sharp. E. Put your pinky finger where your ring finger is. Put your ring finger where your pointer finger was. Now we have two-thirds of our little D shape, which is actually an E because we moved it up, right? And then picture from your E major chord, the A string 2nd fret and the D string 2nd fret. That's your middle finger and your ring finger when you're playing E major. So here we have sort of a conglomeration of two, of two different E chords. I've never played E that way in my entire life. It doesn't sound to me like this is the E they play on the record. It sounds more like regular old low E voicing, but uh, maybe the guy who played it live isn't the guy who played it on the record. Yeah, I, like I said, don't know much about Sinead O'Connor, but yeah. So, C, D, E, however you want. Doesn't matter. This particular move, I love this move. I call this the scoop. Nobody calls this the scoop but me, but it sounds like they're scooping up from the bottom, from out of the key, because this song's in the key of E, right? E and B, G sharp minor and A, those are chords in the key of E, and C is nary to be found in the key of E, and neither is D, but they're approaching it going a whole step up, 
then a whole step up, ending up back at home, so to, so to speak. And this is also in, in Mario. Your princess is in another castle, etc. Yeah, the scoop. Look for it. You'll see it all over the place if you uh, learn to recognize it. So yeah, Scott, except for putting the E in there, I'm going to give, I'm going to just give you an I'm just going to give you an A- minus for failing to put your name on the test. All right, next part of the pre-chorus. Broke a string, rocking out to Sinead O'Connor. Back, <laughs> electrified now. <laughs> so for the next part of the pre-chorus, you have G, bar, A, open. I'm not going to give you points off. I, I feel like it's G in the way that only a big open G chord can sound. So regular G, regular A, like you said. And then I swear, I swear something really interesting is happening over this E, and it's do your E chord. Listen really closely for this. It's very, very, very deep in the mix, but it's the guitar player who's playing the E. I'm hearing. Listen for it. So you're on your E major, and you minor it for just a second by taking your pointer finger off. Twice, and then open G, G2. You could do G4 and abandon your E chord. You know, maybe a guitar player guy had freaky fingers and he could go like that. That's crazy to me. You could also just go, oops. Open G, G2, B open. That's what I'm hearing. It could just be regular G, regular E, E sus4, open B string. That's the more common thing. That's the thing that makes more sense, but I really, really think I'm hearing so listen for that, and you tell me what you think if you hear that. So yeah, that's my little addition there. Cool. Next part. All right, for the chorus, Scott, you had E A. It's A E. For the, there's two guitars bouncing back and forth, right? So that is the progression. Oh, I don't think anyone in the group is playing something that simple. The lead part, or like. One's playing the A while the other's going boom, boom, boom. And then one's playing the E while the other one's going boom, boom, boom. Which I will now explain to you what the bam, bam, bams and the boom, boom, booms are. The bam, bam, bams are. I can't um, decipher this. I, I encourage everybody to go look at this. And this is how organized we should all be, Scott. Well done, sir, on your organizational skills uh, documenting. I'll just... I can't... How many songs do you have written out like this? Because I am... Damn impressed, sir. All right, so what you're going to do is B string, 5th fret, E string, open. 5, 4, 2, open. Now slide up from G2 to G4 with your ring finger to the 4th fret, like I said. And then B2, back to G4, so... One guitar does that while the other guy is playing A. Then the other guitar does the boom boom booms while the other guitar is playing, there's nine guitars, is playing E. So, but you can kind of get them all done. You go E, and you got this right, Scott. Uh, you said the notes are E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, and there's a C sharp after that. So E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, back into the A. So a crazy conglomeration of all this in several different uh, combinations would be I hit D, I meant to hit C sharp there. It could be as simple as A, E, or as complicated as... footage as well. So, uh, excellent guess, sir. Uh, good surmising and, and perusing there on your effort. I don't know if there's anything left. I'm going to, I'm going to keep listening to this song for the first time. I just heard it in the recording. It is absolutely for the scoop. C, D, and then this, that thing. That's got a, it's definitely that. That's what it is. So now we all know a new E chord. Those are all the pieces. I just noticed that you could do, you know, after you go... You could switch to open A to 4 because then you're closer to where you need to be rather than going all the way up to the ninth fret of the E string. So rather 
than ending up way up there. And I was just noticing that, remember we were talking about the scoop? <laughs> This, it's the same thing from with a little help from my friends. Which is also in the key of E. And even uses this thing. So, songwriters borrowing little things boo -doo, boo -doo -doo -doo, off each other. I love this song. When are we going to do this song, everybody? Scott. Thank you for taking the time to uh, to type out that document, and I hope that even you know if you, I don't know anything about Sinead O'Connor, so maybe uh, you know maybe a lot of people are interested in this, and uh, maybe not. But if you watch this and uh, you're not, I hope you learn something from that. So thank you, Scott, and thank all of you for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.